Okay, we are making a beautiful picture of some winter trees and a nice landscape. So you are going to draw in pencil first and I'm going to draw with a permanent marker because it shows up better on the video. So your name at the bottom. And then you're going to make a wavy line for some ground. Not super wavy, just a little bit curvy. And you're going to draw your tallest tree trunk here in the middle. And then you're going to make two shorter ones on either side. And then you're going to make an arrow at the top. And then you're going to draw diagonal lines coming out off the center all the way down. Okay, you're going to do that for each tree. Arrow at the top, and then diagonal lines all the way down. An artist that made a lot of beautiful landscapes and trees was Charles Birchfield, and he was an American painter. He was born in 1893 and he died in 1967. And he lived for a time in West Seneca, New York. Okay, so then you are going to take a black crayon and you are going to trace over all your pencil lines. Now, Charles Birchfield's trees did not look like real life exactly. You could tell they were trees, but he used his imagination and he used his own personal expression. So his art was very expressive. It was abstract art. It wasn't exactly like real life. One of his tree paintings was called The Luminous Tree. That he painted in 1917. So when we paint a picture of land or we draw a picture of land, it's called a landscape. Now if you want to, you can add in a little bit more um, branches just to make your trees look a little bit wider at the bottom, a little bit fuller. Mine just looked a little bit too thin. So I needed to add a few more branches. Just to sort of fill them in. Okay, and then we're going to use a white oil pastel. And we're just going to trace along the edges of our trees just to make it look like there's some snow that fell along the branches. It'll sort of give our 
trees a little bit of brightness. So I know it's, you can't really tell with the white oil pastel on the white paper, but when you paint later, it should show up for a wax resist effect. Okay, so I'm going to be using some watercolor paints. Okay, and I'm going to start in the corner there with the yellow. So I have a lot of water on my brush, getting a little bit of yellow paint. I'm just going to make a curve here in the corner for my sun. Okay, I'm going to clean out my brush and I'm going to get a little bit of orange. on here. If my colors blend a little bit, that's okay. So a little more water, a little more paint. And I went with a little bit smaller paper than my original because I thought this might make a beautiful picture for a picture frame. So standard picture frame would be 8 by 10 for the opening so I cut this paper a little bit smaller for an 8 by 10. Okay so I've got some orange. I'm going to do a little bit of red but I'm going to have a lot of water in my brush so it will come out pinkish. When I get close to the tree, I can see those white lines. I dab real gently with my brush. I'm not pressing hard. I'm going to use some purple. I just dab gently on my paper and my brush is nice and wet and I just dab a little bit right in the tray too so just gently working really gently with my watercolor paints I never need to press hard with my brush and my last color at the bottom here is going to be blue And that's going to go right down to the ground line for the snow. All right, and I hope that turns out just beautifully for you.